Our cyber wellness takes centre stage in the updated character and citizenship education syllabus for upper secondary school students. All this revised curriculum, which started this year for this group, uses real-life examples and videos to help students deal with issues like cyberbullying, gaming addiction and fake news and scams. It comes as youths today face additional pressure from the excessive use of social media. As a group, write a response to that comment, the one that's hurtful. It's the first character and citizenship education lesson of the year for this secondary four class in Compassville Secondary School. As part of the refreshed CCE curriculum, which places greater emphasis on cyber wellness, teachers have prepared real-world examples, which the teenagers can relate to. These include the comment sections of online influencers, which can be flooded with negative comments. With this new syllabus, with the contemporary issues, they seem very enthusiastic because they can connect with the scenarios that we're given, and they they want they share. They are very very open and candid about um, you know um, their experiences, and therein lies the authenticity, you know, and they really learn uh, from each other. The curriculum for lower secondary school students started last year. As they go up the levels, students are expected to go deeper into topics like doxing and cancel culture. They were also shown how to seek help when they face trying situations, including dealing with cyberbullying. There is a difficulty in speaking up. Normally, if it's not directed against us, we quite question ourselves as why do we need the field to like uh, reply or just... We also think to ourselves, why not just ignore it? It's not like it's going to really affect us. But to the victims, this is going to really hurt their, hurt them feel, their feelings. So yeah, I believe that while it is difficult, I feel like all students should speak up to whenever cyberbullying takes place. The revised curriculum also explores the role in which social media plays when it comes to mental health. Excessive use of social media can fuel concerns about anxiety, depression, um, create additional pressure for our students and they are also exposed to a variety of cyber-related risk. Through our lessons in school, we hope to make use of real-life scenarios whereby we interact with our students and have them recognise when they see hurtful or inappropriate content and how they manage their feelings and reactions to such comments. Future. Moving forward, schools will engage parents to take an active role in their children's cyber wellness education so that youths will have another avenue to share their feelings when they come across inappropriate content.